So if you know any Canadians, be sure to wish them a happy Canada Day today. Here's something those Canadians might not know. One of the country's hallmarks is made exclusively here in Texas. There's always a tie, right? How does that happen? Our Chris Sadie explains. All right, this is the Milano Hat Company. And the name Milano has covered some famous heads. Mr. Milano used to make hats for Tom Landry, yes. Toby Keith, uh, not your traditional dress or cowboy hat. Crafting hats is a fine art at their Garland factory for a lot of the brands you know. Yeah, we produce probably 400,000 hats annually out of this factory. At the Milano Hat Company, they make just about every hat you could imagine. But this one in particular is unique. Uh, there was an opportunity that presented itself in, in 2011, and we took it and we acquired the Biltmore Hat Company. A hat maker in Toronto known for dress hats and with that came our opportunity to make the RCMP hats for uh, the Mounted Police of Canada. The hats for the Canadian Mounties made exclusively in Texas? How did our friends up north feel about that? It's not unlike we as Texans feel about Chicago owning Whataburger now. Put it that way. But fortunately, Milano and President Scott Starnes have some good foreign policy. We invited them to uh, come visit our facility, see what we do. And we were smart enough to wear our Texas meets Canada lapel pin. And they showed them each step. This is going to make an RCMP hat. Of how their hat, 80 to 90 stages of production, ends up on their head. Get it nice and smooth including the mold for the hat's distinctive feature. They had this distinctive dimple in the front, whereas most have it turned to the side. So on a leather band and chin strap, and it's off to Canada, where if you ever see a Mountie, be sure and compliment their Texas-made hat. There's only one, and it's made right here in Garland at the Milano Hat Company. How's that for loving thy neighbor? In Garland, I'm Chris Sadegi. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. Um, Chris explained to us how we were supposed to wear these hats, but that was at 4 o'clock this morning, and so we don't remember. But these are our Mountie hats. The dent is always worn in the front, but I, I feel like there's a dent there's on a each dent side. There's a dent on all sides. Okay. Apparently, the Mounties like the custom craftsmanship. They've uh, renewed their contract with the Milano Hat Company to keep making them, and the only reason I'm wearing mine... I said she looks like she's going to Coachella. She's got it like popped up. But I feel like the Mounties are all wearing it, you know, like straight on. I'm only wearing it because I got to take it off and finish the newscast, okay? <laughs> uh. I know. I don't know what this mop's going to look like underneath. I'm just going to wear it the whole show. But happy Canada Day anyways. Yes, we love you, Canada. Uh, and in case you didn't notice, Chris Sadegi, he's done it again. Uh, he made his own sound effects for the story that you just what saw. So if you'd like to see how the magic is made in the audio booth, hat. You've got to head to his Facebook page. It's a good one. You won't regret it. I think he's got a side hustle he's working on. I have to say, these are beautifully crafted. Oh, you can they, tell. they are, yeah. yeah. Does your head fit in it? Barely. It's kind of just like perched on my head. Okay. <laughs> that makes me feel better, too. I then. like this. It looks cute. All right.